Hello and welcome back to the channel, my name is Scratchy, and today we're going to be diving into some Tank Chimera. I want to talk a little bit about Tank Chimera and why I actually think it's a little bit slept on or why I think it's good in general. Uh, but also there's an item that I've been meaning to mess around with and I think for the sake of the video I'm probably going to push it up in my build path. But I really think that I, I haven't been giving enough respect to Citadel and I think that Citadel is a pretty solid item and I want to, I want to show it a little bit of love and try it out. So I'm probably going to go Overlord straight into Citadel. Uh, but I think the item is like an offensive item that is like it's like a fighter item but it's like basically like a pseudo tank item because it does bring you like a pretty decent amount of health and armor and then it has like the passive that's going to give you a lot more armor but it also reduces armor so as you're diving into the back line with citadel on then your carry does more damage because you're reducing their armor uh, by 20 percent. so i actually think that the item is probably a little slept on so i'm going to mess around with picking that up as probably my second buy um thought process behind tank kai is that you just kind of dive in you turn on a razorback you have your overlord so whenever you press your Q, you're able to do some pretty decent damage, and you're, you're tanky, right? Hard to deal with and tanky, so I think that I do quite enjoy this build. It might be my favorite Kai build right now, because I think it's the build that is the most consistent. Um, so let's take a look and see what we can do here. Uh, potentially, if they have any wards out. They don't have any wards out, so I think I'm just going to run straight into them. Oh, he's in. He's in, so I'm just going to jump into him. Got to flash him. Nice, nice. I'll say I'll take that flash trade. Got the Fang Mao here. I don't have a flash, so he's just gonna grab that really quickly. But we'll run into. He probably has his red side jungle down. Okay, so his red side jungle is down. There's the Fay. I could run into her, but I think that's a little pointless. What I'll probably do is just come into the blue side jungle here and maybe look to steal this back camp. Oh, very interesting. He's gonna he's gonna run into her, which is fine. I think I could I could look for a gank on the set on the crunch, or I could look to fight for this camp right here. Okay, with the Fey roaming, and the crunch could easily pinch. We end up jumping on the crunch here, I think, and then we just don't overstay. We just don't overstay. We go to our red side jungle. Because they had the mid laner. Okay. No biggie. We just go back into our side then. Don't want to go back to base till 950 because I do have um, the cleaver that I'm like working on. And the Fangmouth's is still just running around low health. Interesting. Oh, what? He's got attack speed. He's a longbow with a road crest. Okay. Look at that. I wonder what he's building there. wonder what he's building there. Maybe we can circle back around on this crunch a little bit here. We'll see. We'll actually sweep this and maybe take a look. He knows I'm here. All right. Maybe a little bit of pressure on the Fey into a river buff. Not much ability to bully her too much. I can always just bully her health bar and then go for river buff. That's kind of what I'm looking for there. And if the Countess is smart, she'll go for the opposite side river buff. Should be the play there. Bang Mao's there. I might have to pinch over to help fight. Yep, yep. I'm on my way. I don't know if she has a flash, but... I think we get this one at least now. Um, we get nothing. We get nothing there. I'm gonna steal jungle then. It's a little bit tragic. But I should be able to use this time to invade at least a little bit. Get myself a little bit ahead, right? Unfortunate. Unfortunate we're not able to turn that into any kills. Um, the face probably almost back. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take a back here. That'll at least give me my cleaver. Looks like it's time to start pushing the build a little bit more. And we can probably head to our red side jungle and finish a clear. Not gonna stick around for that. The health beat. I probably could, but I don't think it's important right now. Um, I could farm up a little bit, get ready for seven minutes. For the seven minute uh, rivers. Let's go ahead and grab this. Progressing around a little bit. I might just do like a full red side clear. 
um, or at least you know two thirds of a red side clear. Like I said, I'm gonna rush the Citadel second just for the sake of trying the item out. But I think it's probably a better as like a third to five slot item. And the main reason being third to five slot is because you know you want you want people to build up armor if you're doing percentage reduction on armor. Um, so like you want people to have armor that you're reducing if that's the the kind of gimmick you're going for right, with the Citadel. So I think second building it is probably not the way to go. Um, but a lot of games and pubs don't go the distance, so um, I'm probably going to go with it for, I don't know, maybe second or third item. We'll see. That looks like an interesting fight there. Uh, I'm a little late. I'm a little late. Okay, a little bit late. Can't help there too much. Okay. I'll let that one walk. Gotta let that one walk. Alright, let's keep on farming. Me and him are pretty even on farm. Let's check the mid farm. 38 to 29. That's actually not that bad. Unlucky in the offlane, dude. I know they were having a close fight. Alright, want to work towards the 6. It's a big goal for Chimera. Like, you can put a little bit of early pressure like I've been doing, but really big goal is to get that, that level 6 for Kai. That's how you really lock in your, uh, your ganks. Go ahead and smite this. Yeah, just checking some of the farm. I'm trying to put my finger on what I think he's building. Actually, just not sure. Oh, I'm so close to six, I just want to finish it. I'll probably do some sweeping while I'm out here. Alright. Yeah, they know I'm here, which is fine. We can peek and take a look at camps. He doesn't have his six yet, so I can actually contest this. Nice. Hit the camp. Very nice. I want I want a timer, so that's what I'm gonna look for really quickly. Okay, 89 seconds. I can just run out and see the Drongo behind me. 89 seconds and 97 seconds, so. And actually, if he, I was going to say, if he comes this way, I'll grief his health bar. Uh, we got the nine-minute farm coming up soon. And I can actually finish my overlord, so. Um, or, like, the nine-minute camp coming up soon. So I'm going to run at her so she can't pick a side. So I'm just going to run at her, kind of grief her health bar a little bit. Okay, and now I'll go for the river. Fortunately, duos a little bit on the weaker end. Oh, I could have given that to Countess. I didn't think she was on her way over here. All right, we're just going to grab this, and we're going to back. Working on the wild pretty well, so I can probably go to my red side and just keep working on that wild. Um, and like I said, I think I'm going to go for a Citadel this game. So, like, second. It's a, Like I said, it's a little early. I mean, let's take a look. I mean, somebody's got armor, right? Yeah, people got armor, so... Um, nice little gank in the mid there, potentially. Very nice. Got the Fang Mao on the right-hand side. He's building Absolution. Very interesting item to build. Might be a crunch gank angle. He can come in here. Maybe I went a little too early, but... Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see right there. That's what I like to see right there. Well done. Well done. We'll sweep across here and go work on my two camp. Just have to assume they're not ripping Fang, but I really doubt they are. Really doubt they are. So yeah, normally I think for this tank build, I would go Overlord double tainted into... Um, like uh like a raiment or um you know I, you know what i mean like i i don't i'm like i'm working on the citadel to see if i think it's like an aggressive option that i'm actually like comfortable with and potentially happy with take a peek in this jungle here we can get we can get some timers okay, 140 we'll just go back to right hand side again i can run at the fey here and try to grief her health bar a little bit to put that pressure down so this can go for opposite side river. Thing mouse sees me here, so I'm just gonna run away because I'm a little bit low health. And kill diving on me. Okay. 
Nope. We use the flash there. Use the flash there. Not bad. Not bad. 78-72 farm. I'm doing pretty decent here. Okay, grab our Razorback. Go work on our blue side jungle. Look like they're getting into it a little bit. Hopefully they're doing solid. Flash is pretty solid to steal, taking lots of damage. Very nice. I'm gonna go on ahead and work on my four camp. Because uh, I could get there, but I want to get my wild so we could potentially turn this straight into a Fang too. I'm actually surprised the Fang now got a kill there. He was low. He was low. Might be able to catch the Drongo here. I'd be it straight to him. I think I can just straight run at him here. I don't think he can do anything to me. Very cool. And go straight for this here. No wards. I do have my wild. I don't think he has his. He's probably pretty close to it though. He's probably pretty close to it. I'll just get a little bit of help from the duo. Very nice. Go jumps in here. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna rush the Citadel because I, I think I might not be able to get it if I do it in a build path that I actually want to try it in. Um that's just something to think about in that regard. Okay, cool. We got that. That's going to put it just about 18 minutes. And I'm going to grab this just because I'm here. Could look for a gank on the duo. Five camp is up. He's going to see me. I'm pretty sure he saw me. Let's go ahead and rip that down. It's free. Free anti-warding there. If they go for gold. I'm in the base here, but if they go for gold, I'll just pinch in on them. They're not going to go for it. That's fine. I can just keep working on this. Yep. Build myself some armor. Go for red side. I might be able to go for a mini prime. Um, Scar Sev's being aggressive on the Fang Mao, which is huge. Yeah, he does have an absolution first item. That's wild. On a Fang Mao. Yeah, normally I think it's better to just build that tanky foundation since I'm tank high. Um, and also, like, if you're doing percentage armor reduction, then it's probably better to get percentage armor reduction later in a game. Um, but I wanted to show off Citadel because I, I do think that the item is, is probably a little slept on. Um, it's just not one of those items that gets talked about a ton. And I do think that there's there's obviously something here with this item being that it can get up in the like 50 plus armor. Um, and like, you know, you know, Warden's Faith is like 70. So I think it can go up to 55 armor or 85 armor. I forget what it is. Uh, it, would, it, can, it can possibly go up to 85 armor. So it could be a really big armor item. Um, although I don't think it ever usually is going to be that big on, on average. On average, it'll probably be like 40, 50, uh, 55 armor. And um, I think that that's still really solid. And so I want to kind of experiment with that as like a slightly less tanky option for tank damage. You know what I mean? But but the thing is, is that it's not just an item that's going to give me damage, because it is, but it's also an item that's going to give my carry more damage as I'm diving in that back line, right? All right so let's get a little, a little aggressive here. Okay. Mid's missing. I could try to pinch in on that right now. Maybe use this mini prime to influence that duo lane quite a bit. I'm gonna run into the duo, yeah, because they they have four there. I'm on my way though. I think I know it's four, but I think we could fight them. Don't be really confident here. Trade on the Drongo. Huge. Huge kills, man. Huge kills. We'll take this down. Huge kills. We'll use that mini prime. We have the Citadel done, and now I'm going to go straight for Tainan. Not going to push much more than that. Don't think it calls. The game calls for it. So straight into the Tainted now, and this is going to be more armor and more damage. 
And then the goal behind the Overlord for, like, both Rampage and Kai is that, like, you know, you can be tanky. It's a tanky item. It's got some really good health on it, but it's going to bring you a little bit of early game presence with damage. With Kai, you press the Q and it, it gives you so many cleaves that I think it's just, like, if you're going a bruisery or tanky build at all with Kai, then Overlord's a perfect item because, you know, it just gives you damage, right? Um, otherwise, you know, you know, you could go into, like, a more aggressive option, but... I think going full tank Kai where I go like Fire Blossom feels a little silly because that requires me to just do damage around my body when I could actually just do damage by pressing my Q, which I'm going to be doing anyways. So it's like you might as well scale that Q damage up some um, and, and take advantage of that. Right, we saw that. Instant ward clearing is always a nice way to play it. Yep. If we can just run into her. I don't think you're as, like, well off as you think you are. Like, I think that they're feeling really confident about fighting me, but I'm not sure why. Ooh, very interesting. I think I run him down here. He doesn't get away from me for free. That much is true. We're gonna take out the Drongo and the Fang Mo. She probably just gets both. Yep. Yep. Well done. Well done. And any armor they have, like I said, I'm, I'm reducing it down, so the Kira is going to be able to do a lot more. And that actually, you know what? Citadel's second item could not be a terrible. I just think it's more of a gamble than building it, say, like third, fourth, or fifth. Because I'm, I'm feeling much more confident on Citadel being like a third, four, or five buy. Um, because that's when you're going to get the most out of that percentage reduction, but it could be like a snowball -y option as well. Like, if you think about it, building more damage early is a bit of like a snowball play, um, but building it a little bit early like this leaves my magic armor low, unless I was to rush the Tainted Bastion first, which I don't feel like I need against just the Fae. Like, I don't feel like the Fae is going to do enough to matter. I can just cleanse her ult and walk out of it, so... I can just always just walk out of that. All right, we got our red buff. We got river buffs coming up. I think I'm gonna go uh, like sweep my way toward river. See if I can snag this up. And then, honestly, just playing around my duo lane is probably the best thing I can do right now. To just keep that and keep that progression moving. All right, fight on you. Ooh, you're lucky. I was, I was gonna flash it, but I don't have it. Uh, I don't think we won't be getting another mini prime. But the Fang Mao over here, I can just come be aggressive over here too. The crunch is going to feel like he's helping out, but not so much, really. Just shove him down. He really, this guy really can't kill me, so not very much concerned. Ooh, I got a little bit too CC'd there. A little too overzealous. Let's see if the Sev can finish it. Nah. A little overzealous. That's fine. Dude, so close. Well done with them. Well done by them to kind of in and out there. I really thought I had him, but the CC knockup was perfect. I didn't. I didn't pre-cleanse the knockup. Well, it's a bit of a hard thing to do since they tightened that window, but it's a decent play for them. I don't think that window builds them enough opportunity to do anything. So, if anything, I just you know give them a little bit of experience and gold back. But we'll finish this Tano. Like I said, we'll work in towards the. Uh, We'll work in towards the Bastion. So yeah, I think in general, just for the talking point of the video, I, I do think that like, t I think that Citadel is probably being a little slept on. Cause the thing is, is like, just for recap, it brings 35 damage, physical physical power, 200 health, which is like a pretty moderate amount of health. Um, Fire Blossom prior to the buff was 200. So now it's 275. So like comparing that to like a tank item, 200 to 275 health is like, that's not bad. It's pretty good. And then it has 35 armor on it, but it has the potential to gain 50 additional armor if you're standing next to five enemies. So it has 35, to 55 or to 85 armor which is like dude, that's a big potential amount of armor right so and again warden's faith is 70 armor there's there's a lot of potential that this item has all while reducing the armor that um your enemies have so it's like i actually think it's a really good item like i think it could potentially be like a very top tier bruiser tank item uh, depending on which character you're playing again richter's not going to use it steel's not going to use it um, but i do think that you could build it on crunch i think that you could build it on um, rampage all right 
Let's take a bit of damage there. Not bad though. Nice. Brunch is pushing that hard right lane, so I might have to go deal with that real quick. Nothing on map to do right now anyway, so. Oh, let's get a little bit of healing in. So yeah, I mean, I think you could build this on Crunch. I think you could build on Rampage. You can build on Chimera, Grux. Um, I think it's pretty solid. You're just not going to want to build it on Steel, who can't use the physical power on it. And you're not going to want to build it on Rampage or uh, Richter, who's not going to use the physical power on it either. Uh, but otherwise, pretty solid item. It's just like I said, it's it's a bit more of a damage heavy option, but it's also not just a selfish damage heavy option, which I think is the, is the selling point, right? Um, the fact that you can actually bring your carry more damage just because you're choosing to um, run Citadel, while also simultaneously giving yourself more damage. Now, again, it comes at the cost of just being for sure tankier, because if I was building Warden's Faith instead, then yeah, I'm going to take less damage from crits, I'm going to have more health, and I'm going to have more armor. Um, so it's it's an aggressive tank option, I think. But I think it's one that's been been almost entirely slept on, so... We do have Fang Two Three coming up in just a bit, but we're kind of like posturing and playing on this side of the map for that reason. We even have some good looking like, invade. I think the annoying thing is if this crunch keeps splitting, because that is going to be a bit annoying to deal with. Bay coming in behind, she might be looking for a big ult here. This is a bit aggressive. Okay, big damage on the back line. Pop my razor back. Stupid Trongo can't do anything to me. Chase out the Fang Mao. Yeah. I think we're just a bit too strong. I'm gonna kind of corner camp this. Okay. We can do that, and then we can do that. This into this. So we go Fangtooth into Orb Prime. I probably won't even smite this so I can double smite Orb Prime, maybe. That's assuming we actually go for it. Do my Tainted Guard so we can start working on the Tainted Bastion next. Yeah, I think for the sake of the video, because like any second this game, they could have surrendered, right? I think for the sake of the video, okay, we'll all back. Um, it's I wanted to rush the Citadel just so I can talk about the item and actually show it off as opposed to just talking about it and not having it. Um, so it's a bit of an interesting format in that regard because I don't actually think that this is how I'll build this item. I do think that it's probably a better item later on. But it, again, I, I am kind of sitting on the thought that like, hey, it could be a... A snowball item it could be an item that I, I pick up so that way i can have it and when i am showing up and people that do have any armor that armor is lessened automatically and it's giving me damage so it could potentially be uh a second pickup not sure how i feel about that just yet um, but we shall see i'm gonna go for the crunch here i'd like to go for the crunch here I tried to pre-cleanse that, just couldn't. I think this is a big pick. Yeah. Yeah, we should just do Prime unless they get killed in the mid. I would love to just do this, TBH. Akira's getting killed though. I think I don't think we can. I don't think we can. With the Kira going down there, it, it, we kind of like lose the the desire to do it because she won't have it on her anyways. But also, like we kind of needed her brain potential. I think them dying there was a little, a little not great. I can't save this. I don't think. That's fun. Them dying there was a little silly. We could have just played close to each other instead. They're gonna get our tier two. They actually like get a lot out of those couple kills. We just need to be playing around our Kira. Yeah, I mean, look at this wave clear on Overlord, too. Like, it's solid. I can go by the Lockshaw. That'll be anti-healing. And a little bit of magic armor. So we're starting to build into this. And then final item, honestly, it, it, it can go any any direction, right? Like, for the sake of the full build, because, I, you know, I'm going to put the build in the video. Um, it, it really can just go any direction. I can go aggressive with it. I can go really tanky. I can go Warden's Faith if I'm worried about Drongo critting the hell out of me. Um, I could go Unbroken Will if I want, you know, like kind of a burst of healing and more, um, you know, uh, magic armor. There's just so many directions I can go with. I can go Basilisk to bring my damage potential up a little bit. So. Yeah, this kind of Kai, I actually am, am really starting to think that this version of Kai might just be the stronger way of playing it over, say, like an aggressive Sky Splitter Kai, because I think you have to snowball when you do something like that, um, as opposed to this build, which it feels just a little bit more 
uh, standardized regardless of, you know, how the game is going. Although I do think that there's a place for the other Kai build. I, don't, I think it's still meta, so to speak. Oh, they're going deep. Way too deep. Okay. I think we're, we're doing that thing where we're not grouping enough. And we're just kind of like letting the game go super long. I'm gonna start like calling for us to group more. Like we can accomplish more. Okay. Uh, tactics. We need to be grouping up. Notify tactics. Group up. Not grouping up is just becoming like our, to our detriment because we're just letting them farm and catch up a little bit to us. We're gonna get gold. Not really a reason why we haven't been dancing. Uh, Mini at this point. Or big prime, not even mini. Ooh, I think Countess is okay. If she dies there, we're just like again, we're just we're just like letting them get free kills and stalling this game out a long time for no real reason. So we should be kinda should be like dancing the big prime. I need to push out this wave. We also need um wards on OP. We're not doing it. All right. I just want to dance this and do it potentially. Like I think we're strong enough that if they if we force them to come look at it, then we can fight them. But we just need to be grouped. Notify tactics. Notify tactics. Group up. You know. My biggest thing right now. I just want us grouped. Oh, I feel like you just dashed. Put yourself in a really weird position. We also have. Prime, Primal Fang Tooth coming up now. Yeah, I think we had an opportunity to kind of like stomp this game and like close it out earlier, and we've like mostly lost that window. Now they're just like pushing out our waves and stuff. See how our team decides to group for this. And we know we're dancing this. We can't just start this. So fast. I think we just do it. If the if the crunch isn't here, then we just do. It's a little volatile, but if we're all here, we can always turn and fight. Right, let, let somebody pick up a little bit of the aggro for me so I can heal. Keep it away from the Kira. She's gonna ult that, yeah. We just stick on it, nice. Nice ult. We just insta insta grab the fang now. I think I catch him either way. Yeah, the true damage grabs him. I just start pushing this because I think they're gonna clean up the, that fight. I'm gonna call for. Yeah, we might just be able to end TBH. Just crunch. Just 20 seconds. Nice. Glad the Severog didn't die there. That would have been sus. Enemy tower under siege. I think going for Aura Prime is probably the best thing we could do, but we're just not in a position to do it, so I think I just have to go for Inhib here. Enemy like, it's the, it's the most power play we could have, but we, we actually just can't. We don't have the positioning for it, so. We just smite there. Let's see if I get this. I can't even get this. You just wave clear against me. I don't think I'm dead here. No, I am dead here. Yeah, I am dead there. I overstayed. I overstayed. My bad. 
Okay, overstayed. All right, last item. What do we want to do? I actually do think I want to be a little bit more aggressive. Um, um, like, well, I mean, here's the thing. Even with Salvation, this is a ton of health, which, you know, basic attacks deal bonus physical damage on hit based on your bonus health. So, like, Salvation in this scenario would be huge because this is going to give me a ton of health, physical power, tenacity, and then it gives me a gigantic health shield with Omnivamp. So, like, this would be a really solid, like ending off the build in a way that like this build is like still tanky but it's not just 100 percent full tank um i could get really really healthy with raiment and give myself uh you know more regen so there, there's so many options you can go with this you can be like i said more aggressive with basilisk and go more into a shredding um kind of thing right like uh if i wanted anti-cc you know there's definitely some options here for that we have op warded so that's good yeah we're in a pretty solid position there's not a whole lot i feel like i need so I think I'm just going to keep it, uh, keep the build where I have it, and then we'll just finish off the salvation. Uh, but I do think that if we get that pick, we should go straight for OP. We go straight for OP, we can just end the game pretty much. I just really don't want them to keep like brute force pushing because that's something that happens where people just brute force push. Oh man, that pick too. That's huge. If we just go straight for OP, the game is basically just over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, team. Come on, team. Get in here. Get in here. Sometimes getting the, the public matches to be goal-oriented on objectives is a little sus, but Akira got those kills down, so nice and easy. Yeah, Citadel. I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling pretty keen about it. Holy dude, that bursted really fast. Yeah, we just push now. We just be pushing now. Ugh, that wave is so fast. Dude, I hate how fast these waves get sometimes. It's super annoying. I'm going to stick with the Kira because she's really just trying to go giga aggressive. Which, if she dies, then it like kills our push. So I'm going to stick with her. Uh, also, I want to stick around her because my Citadel, too. So The Citadel works, for, uh, works in her favor. So we just kind of dance this and we let the Sev split up the lane. That's what we do. Just dance this. We have the regen from OP. Enemy towers destroyed. We just work on this. We just let him run it up and we do our thing. Enemy inhibitor is under siege. Do our thing. Alright, we'll do a little bit. Then we walk out a little bit. Nice, nice. Yeah, we just chip away at it, you know what I mean? Oh, interesting Drongo play there. Don't oh, pop our razor back. He's getting his armor lowered, you know? Oh, I'm probably dead here. Yep. She's just gonna pop off and kill everything, though? Oh, mostly. Mostly. Oh, the Faye got it. Okay, not bad, though. They're gonna go ahead and finish that one up. Not bad. Six, three, and nine. I like the Citadel. I mean, let's take a look at the armor they're building. They've got a little bit of armor. Well, starting to build a little bit of armor here and a little bit of armor here. So really, I'm reducing the armor on a couple of the main characters. It's bringing me more damage, and it's a pretty solid option if I can get in and actually... Uh do some damage so solid game there i think tank chimera probably one of my more favorite ways to play it and i think i'm 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 growing on the the citadel so friends drop a like on the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about citadel what do you think about tank chimera i, I think it might be his best build right now and it's it's like bruisery tank build but it's it's like pretty tank build so pretty and uh, pretty much enjoying it so friends as always thank you so much subscribe for future predecessor content because we're gonna be posting videos just about every single day i'm gonna probably produce a stream schedule soon so you'll know where to find me and as always be sure to be kind of Another. Tell someone you love them, and I'll see you on the next video.